I want to invite you to join me in celebrating the table. It's a dynamic symbol of our faith. It's a reminder of the past, but an emphasis on the present. And a foretelling of the future celebration when we join our Savior at the wedding supper of the Lamb, described in detail in, in Revelation chapter 19. We come to the sacred table not because we must, but because we can. Come not to testify to our own righteousness, but that we sincerely love our Lord Jesus Christ and desire to be his true disciple. Come not because your goodness gives you a right to come, but because in your frailty and brokenness, and sin, you stand in need of help, heaven's mercy, and help, and grace. Come because you love the Lord a little, and you want and desire to love him more. Come because he loved you, and he gave himself for you. Lift up your hearts above your cares, your worries, your fears. Let the bread and the fruit of the vine be a sign of God's grace to you and a pledge of your love to the Lord. Receive the love of God and consecrate your life afresh to Christian obedience and service. To discover and to do the will of God in our humble faith. Pray with me. Almighty God, to you, all hearts are open. All desires are known. And from you, no secrets are hidden. Clean the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Most merciful God, we confess that we are sinners and we have sinned against you and you alone in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. I'm going to read the, um, the Apostles' Creed, a statement of our belief. So if you want to read this with us, it'll be on the screen. It says, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin of Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. 
The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to the heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, For I have received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, in the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. 
For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and in so doing he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. Let's pray together. Almighty God and Father in heaven, we thank you for the gift of sacrifice that you have given to us in your Son, Jesus Christ. The perfect, holy, righteous sacrifice that was required the shedding of blood for the forgiveness of our sins. Father, may we be mindful of the sacrifice that was made for us. May we take it seriously as we live our life each and every day. And may we represent our Savior in a manner that is worthy of the gift that was given to us. Thank you for the forgiveness of sin that we have through Jesus Christ, our Savior. We pray it in his blessed and holy name. Amen. And if you would please take the bread... This is the bread that came down from heaven. Not as our fathers did eat manna and then died. But he who eateth this bread shall live forever. And then in like manner, Jesus took the cup, as I do now, ministering in his name. If you would prepare to take the cup. Almost all things are purified with blood. And it is written in scripture that without the shedding of blood... There can be no forgiveness of sin. I want to read two passages of scripture relating to God's love and provision for us. The first is Psalm 3, verse 1 through 8. O Lord, how my adversaries have increased. Many are rising up against me. Many are saying of my soul, there is no deliverance for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield about me. My glory and the one who lifts my head. I was crying to the Lord with my voice and he answered me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept. I awoke for the Lord sustains me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people. 
who have set themselves against me and all around me. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies on the cheek. You have shattered the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. And then from Isaiah chapter 12. Verse 1 through 6. Then you will say on that day, I will give thanks to you, O Lord. For although you were angry with me, your anger has been turned away. And now you comfort me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song. And he has become my salvation. Therefore, you will joyously draw water from the springs of salvation. And in that day, you will say, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among all the peoples. Make them remember that his name is exalted. Praise the Lord in song for he has done excellent things. Let this be known throughout the earth. Cry aloud and shout for joy, O inhabitants of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel.